Yes, yes, you better turn your volume down, it's coming, you know it's coming, the XPS 15, 9th gen, 16 something, whatever, it's coming, woo! So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. <laughs> All right, champs, oh, that, that one hurt. Now, the new XPS 15 9580 is coming. June, June, this year, June. So, um, yeah. Very excited, very excited. Let's talk about it. We know pretty much everything about it now. There's some details we don't know, but pretty much everything. Now, when it comes to the XPS 15, it really amazes me that the current model right now is probably still, overall, at everything up, the best premium 15-inch, you know, content creator laptop. Still probably is the best. You know, the price and upgradability, just, you know, the performance. When you add everything up, I still think it's the best one to get. Now, this has been around pretty much since 2015, you know, been upgraded. And still today, I would recommend go buy one of those now. It's still an awesome product to buy even today. But we know the new one's coming now, June, as I said. And in a lot of ways, it'll be the same because it will be the same design other than now it will have the webcam on top. So it's going to have a bigger bezel on top. And it's going to have the webcam on top. But still, it's going to have those ultra thin bezels that have been around since 2015. And, you know, laptop manufacturers have only started doing that sort of like last year. You know, really took them that long to catch up. So it's probably going to look the same. If you put them together, the only difference you'd be able to tell is that webcam there. Now, there's nothing wrong with that personally for me because it's not out of date. You know, it's not like, say, for example, the MacBook Pro 15. They need to slim those bezels down, right? The MacBook Pro, that's all it needs. Just slim down those bezels and that MacBook Pro will be modern. They don't need to redesign that. Maybe they need to put a new keyboard, but, you know, update the internals maybe. But with the XPS 15, they don't have to do that. They already have the slim bezels. That design still holds up today. What are you going to do? If you can't make the bezels thinner... And the reality is, really, you don't want to go thinner because then you're going to be even compromising the cooling even more than it is at the moment. Because, yeah, it is a 130-watt package. So, yeah, it's not going to compare to these, you know, Alienware M15s or Aeros or Razor Blade. It's not the same laptop. And a lot of people say, why do you buy the XPS 15 when you can go buy whatever, a Razor Blade or, or whatever, and it's got a much more powerful graphics card? And yeah, it's got to go on your knees, right? For me, one, two, three. One, it's got a video edit like a boss. It's got to have one of those wide color gamuts, high resolution display for photography and video editing. Two, it's got to be usable every day. And this is where a lot of those laptops fall short that don't have the battery life. Say, for example, a Razer Blade doesn't have the battery life. So the XPS 15, has great battery life, has great usability, great trackpad, good keyboard. It is great to use as a daily driver. And then because I've got a high resolution 4K display, my gaming needs are not that demanding because at the end of the day, I've got a 4K display. I don't really want over 60 frames per second. It's superfluous. So pretty much the XPS 15, current one right now, can play pretty much, you know, medium high settings, 1080p. That's all I need. That's all I need. So that's why. And when it comes to video editing, there's really not that much difference. You'll be surprised between a 1050 Ti and a 1060 or a 2060 in like rendering times or even timeline performance. Yeah, there may be some effects where it will make a difference, but generally there's not that much difference for me in Premiere Pro. So that's why I go with the XPS 15. And when it comes to this category, the MacBook Pro define this category, this 15 inch premium, you know, sort of content creator sort of laptop. And up until 2015, the MacBook Pro was definitely the best. But from 2015, this thing has been the benchmark. And yeah, the new MacBook Pro is really good. You've got to give it its dues there. Overall, as I said before, encompass everything in. It's hard to beat the XPS 15. So anyway, let's get to what's going to be in this thing. So it's the same design. So unfortunately for me, I don't think it's going to have two M.2 slots. 
which I'm a bit disappointed in that, and I don't think it's going to have two Thunderbolt 3 ports. I also don't think it's going to be USB charged, so I don't think the power will be going in through the USB-C, because Dell actually do have a custom charger. They do have a 130 watt USB-C power adapter, so if it's the same chassis, I doubt they're going to retool things, so you're going to get, you know, your same USB Type-A, you're going to get your HDMI SD card slot, you're going to get one Thunderbolt 3, I believe. I wish it was two, and I think it's just going to be powered with the barrel charger as well. So maybe at the end of the year or early next year, there may be a new design coming. As it stands now, it's going to be the exact same design. You're going to have a look at it. It's going to be the same. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't want them to go thinner. I don't want a smaller battery, and I don't want the thermals to be even more compromised. So of course, it's going to have the ninth generation CPUs up to i9. Awesome. So that means the i9-988H. CPU, which is 2.3 base, 4.8 boost clock, and it has eight cores and 16 threads, 45 watts, 16 megabytes smart cache. So you will be able to get the eight core i9 in this XPS 15. Oh, it's going to be a beast for video editing. But the main CPU this will come with is obviously the i7-9750H, which is 2.6 gigahertz, 6 core, 4.5 boost clock, and yeah, 12 megabytes smart cache. So that in itself, that i7, should be a bit of an improvement over the 8th generation, the current model, just because of those high clocks, extra cache, maybe a little bit of power efficiencies, and yeah, it's got, you know, better spectre security or whatever you also will be able to get an i5 whether it's the 9400h or the 9300h your guess is as good as mine but that will be a quad core definitely recommend you at least get the i7 in that regard so new cpus 9th gen awesome eight cores i9 confirmed and you know that's the one i'm getting now when it comes to gpu starting off with a gtx 1650 so seeing as they said starting with a GTX 1650, I would assume you'll be able to get the 1660 Ti Max-Q version because you're not going to get the full version and will be the Max-Q. And although if you just think, oh, 1660, 1050 Ti, probably not that much, but I know that the 1650 is actually around 1.7 times faster than the 1050. But the one I'm hoping for, because they said it starts at GTX 1650, is the GTX 1660 Ti Max-Q version of that. Now that, the full version of the 1660 Ti is actually faster than the uh, 1060. So that's a killer GPU. And even if I'm just looking at the frame rate, say for example here, I'm seeing PUBG at, with the GTX 1650 of 71 frames per second. Now that would be in a gaming laptop, you probably can reduce that a little bit in the XPS 15. If you're getting 60 frames per second ultra settings PUBG with just the 1650, which has four gigabytes RAM versus six gigabytes of GDDR on the 1660 Ti, that's pretty good, man. Gaming wise, the 1650 will be enough for me. But if they've got the 1660 Ti, that is the dream because it has that six gigabytes it is GDDR6, much better memory bandwidth. And with that, you know, you're getting like 90 frames per second PUBG from these um, benchmarks, you know. If you're talking like the full fat version, not the Max-Q, you know, you're talking Apex Legends, 102 frames, Fortnite 115, Overwatch 192. Yeah, you're going to have to reduce that for the Max-Q version. And then again, a little bit for the XPS 15, the thermo envelope of that. Yeah, if I can play 60 frames per second high settings, that's enough. And having that six gigabytes of RAM with the 1660 Ti, it's going to be great for video editing. So a lot of people might think, oh, I want RT. I don't want RTX. Forget about that. I just really want the six gigabytes of the 1660 Ti. But even if it just had the 1650, you're still getting a bit of a boost there. I really, fingers crossed, 1660 Ti. I don't care. Just, just get the Max-Q version in there. Bring it down. I don't care if you reduce the clocks a bit. That's fine with me. Just I want that six gigabytes of RAM. That that's the main thing, the GDDR6. Now, when it comes to displays, there's going to be an OLED option. Now, that's awesome. You're getting an OLED version. Now, the 4K display, the current XPS 15 is killer. That is an awesome display, one of the best displays you're going to get in a laptop. Now, for me personally, having OLED, would I get that? It really comes down to battery life. Yeah, the OLED, you're going to get the pop, the contrast, but I've got to work out one which one's brighter, two, which one's got better battery life. Yeah, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to have to find that out to find out which one I'm going to go with because I'm happy with the 4K display they have now. 
But if the OLED display battery life's the same, I'll probably go with the OLED. And am I worried about burning? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, um, especially if you've got the same sort of screen, video editing all the time and stuff. Yeah, it is a concern, but um, hopefully there's some mitigation against that, some sort of, you know, pixel shifting or something. I don't know. Hopefully it won't be an issue. <laughs> I can't say that I'm not concerned about that. But anyway, that's it. Coming out June, new display, new internals, 1650 confirmed, maybe 1660 Ti, that'll be friggin' awesome. Ninth gen, i9, eight cores, XPS 15 for the win. Can't wait to get it in. Oh, I'm excited. Woo! Catch you in the next one.